Hi, I'm John Harold from Zytron. In this segment, we're going to look at the preflight function, which is an option in the Navigator GPS workflow. Preflighting is another nice option to have if you get a lot of PDFs that aren't properly created for the printing process. It can save a lot of time and money by looking for, and sometimes automatically fixing, issues embedded in the incoming files. To begin, let's take a look at one of the existing workflows you've seen in some of the other videos in this series. We'll start with our CTP workflow, and I'll add a preflight step into it. Keep in mind that you can build this step in as you create workflows, or add it later like we're doing here. With the workflow highlighted, we click the Edit button. On the left side of the client interface are all of the functions you can add. Let's grab the preflight icon and drag it into our workflow. The system automatically shows the configuration tab for preflighting. We tick the box to pause after, then we select what preflight profile to use. By the way, if you need to change or create more profiles, you simply go to the Navigator server window, log in, and select Edit Preflight Profile. You can then see the hundreds of different preflight checks that have been enabled. Everything from PDF standards to color, transparency, font handling, and much more are available. Make the changes you wish and save the profile for use. You can also add action lists that will fix certain problems. You'll need a copy of NFocus Pit Stop in order to create action lists, but you can then import them and activate them here. We'll use one of the built in action lists to convert CMYK Black to True Black. Lastly, We'll tell the system to generate a preflight report so that we can check the results. Click the Edit button and the workflow is ready. Let's drop a PDF on it and see what happens. Within a couple seconds, the job is preflighted. We can click down and double click the report that we asked for. It looks like this job has generated a warning and has also fixed some things that we told it to watch out for. Here's a handy trick. If you have Acrobat Pro installed on the computer, clicking these magnifying glass icons will take you to the object for which Preflight has noticed an issue. In this case, it's an image with resolution that is less than optimal, but still okay for the job. We can now send this forward to rip and make plates.